Welcome to Let's Talk Video Production. Let's look at how to add an end screen to your video in YouTube. Hit the subscribe button for tips, how to's and videos about business and video marketing. In this video, we will look at what is an end screen, how to add an end screen, what elements can you add to an end screen and what are the restrictions of end screens. So what is an end screen? An end screen is an overlay that sits on the end of your YouTube video and encourages your viewers to engage with your channel or brand further. That might be watching more videos, subscribing or visiting a website. So it can help you to increase subscriber numbers, watch time and views overall. The end screen overlay is created in YouTube and not in the editing process, but you could design an end credit to your video that would fit well with this overlay. So how do you add an end screen in YouTube? First, log into your account and we want to get to the edit page for end screens. If you have not already uploaded the video, select the create button and then select upload videos and start that process. End screen creation is in step two here and you need to wait for the video to be uploaded and processed as a basic SD version before you can move on to step two. You could come back to this later. If you are adding an end screen to a video that has already been uploaded, you need to go to your video list and hover over the video until you see the icons appear. Select the pen icon to edit and add the end screen. This takes you to an edit page and on the right hand side, there are a number of boxes. Select the one that says end screen. Either way, you are going to end up here on the end screen page. Let's review the layout of this page. On the top left, we have an editing area. On the right hand side, we have a viewer showing the video and how the elements sit on that visually. Below these, we have the timeline where you will see the elements placed and note that the elements section is that top line. Next, let's look at the different ways to add elements. In the editing section, you can select use from previous video and choose an end screen from one of those to reapply. You can also see graphics of layouts that you can quickly choose from. So you could choose to use the same layout as your last video or from a number of suggestions from YouTube. You can add individual elements by clicking elements on the top left. In the viewer, you can click on the screen to add an individual element or add elements in the timeline by clicking on the plus icon in the elements section. So let's add a suggested layout with a playlist and subscription button. You could add a suggested overlay and then add another element in separately if you wanted to. We will add a video. If you want to edit an element, it must be selected. To do this, click on the element in the viewer or timeline. Note that in the timeline, the bar representing the element that is currently selected will be blue. The playlist bar is red because we have not added allocated a playlist yet. Pressing the pen option in the editing area allows me to do that. Change the timing of the element in the edit section or in the timeline you can click and drag the ends of the bar. Click and drag the middle of the bar to move it around on the timeline. Select the trash can in the edit section to delete the selected element and note that just above the timeline there are undo and redo options. If you want to link to a video that is not on your channel, select the choose specific video option in the edit section and use the video's title or web address to search for and select that video. In the viewer you can click and drag elements to place them on the screen. Click and drag the corners to resize the element. Select the vertical playhead line in the timeline by hovering over until a vertical bar with a double headed arrow appears and drag this to where you want to start playing the video. Press space bar to start or stop play to review how the end screen looks. Save your changes then move on to the rest of the upload process or go back to your video list if you're done. So what can you add to an end screen? What are the elements? The elements that you can add to an end screen are a video, that would be a separate video, either from your channel or any video on YouTube, a playlist, so a playlist of videos, again, that could be yours or someone else's playlist, a subscription button to encourage people to subscribe to your channel, a link to a channel, so that would be someone else's or another channel that you run, a website link, so this is to an external website, but you must be on the YouTube Partner Program to be able to do this. So what are the restrictions of end screens? The restrictions to end screens are, your video must be at least 25 seconds long to have an end screen. Your end screen must be between five and 20 seconds long. You can only place end screens in the last 20 seconds of the video. 
at least one of your elements must be a video or a playlist. You can have up to four elements on your end screen, but no more. You have a restricted area within which you can place elements, and you are limited to how big or small you can make those elements. Other overlays that were sitting across the video before the end screen will disappear whilst it's up. For example, cards. You cannot have end screens on videos that you have identified as made for kids. If you want to add an external link, you must be on the YouTube Partner Program. The end screen should show up on apps in mobile devices, but may not show up in the browser on these devices. And that's it. Hope that was helpful. And if it was, you're helping me out by giving this video a like. Maybe you know someone who'd find this useful. Please do share and subscribe to stay in touch and get tips for your video content marketing. Thanks for watching.